Hi, it took me a while to set this up, but my tripod thingy is cracked and my phone is currently like off centered, so it's leaning that way. Anyway, I stayed up to pretty late last week and I placed a Baker Creek heirloom seeds order and it arrived eight days later. It, it's really amazing. They, they printed out the shipping label on Saturday. I ordered on Wednesday. It shipped out on Monday, or that was the first sign of tracking, and then it arrived today, Thursday. And I've ripped off the label, and I've cut open the envelope, but I haven't looked inside. And my friend, she ordered a bunch of seeds as well, and she received them yesterday. And she got um, generic seed packs, which is really frustrating. So Baker Creek is supposed to look like this. It's got the black um, background with the picture and then it has all the information on the back. That's like what makes their seed packets look really nice. But she she received um, something kind of like this, how they're exactly the same, but it just has a sticker on it that tells you what it is. And I want to do record this in case I get it too. It's kind of disappointing if like you want all your seed packs to look similar but not exactly the same. Also I'm gonna show like all my seeds. Um, this might be a long video. It's probably gonna be a long video. I talk a lot. So first I'm gonna take out the packing list. It's really cool. It looks like a little receipt paper and I'm gonna put it in front of me and I have, I ordered 10 packs of seeds and there should be one free one inside. <gasps> okay, I already looked <laughs> and it looks like I got the good ones. Okay, I am going to organize this real quick in the order that I placed. Okay, I'm really glad I got the non-generic um, packaging, like their correct packaging, because I was ready to flip through the catalog and just be like, this is what it's supposed to look like. And I also had the computer open with um, the website listing because I was going to be like, this is what it's supposed to look like. So I ordered a lot of flowers. I'm going to show you my seeds afterwards, my current previous seeds. Um, I've already gotten like all the veggies that I want and all the herbs that I want. And I've been in kind of a flower kick lately and um because I'm home right now and I just want to we have so much just plain dirt I'm just gonna like put flowers in it and hopefully they bloom and most of the ones that I picked are um they produce all summer they tolerate great dry and poor soil and they're drought tolerant and low maintenance which means Southern California LA air and our city's poor soil Okay, here it is. First one is Cosmos. It's it's called Seashell because, um, well, yeah, look at that. They're so pretty. So I tend to choose, um, the ones that are mixed. I, I was looking on the internet on the website and I look at pretty colors and pictures, of course, and then I look at how many seed packs come in a, or how many seeds come in a pack. And I compare the prices and then I pick the prettiest one. <laughs> Here's the first one, Cosmos seashell. So this one, it's the plant reaches three to four feet. I don't know where I'm gonna put these. Um, they're cone-shaped flowers, which is really, really, really pretty. I'm so happy about that. This one's called a coxcomb, and it's supposed to look like the comb on top of a rooster's head. And I got the dwarf coral mix because the big ones are supposed to be really, really big. The flower, it says on the back, the flower's eight inches across. So just the flower is about this big. So I can't even imagine how big the plant is. Next is a calendula, calendula, I can't say, it, Pacific Beauty Mix. Uh, yeah, I picked a lot of color mixes because the color mixes are actually cheaper than the individual non-colored mixes. Um, these seeds feel pretty big. And I, it, it's crazy because these packets are really big compared to some of the other brands. Yeah. Next seed. African Flake Daisy. So daisies are really good. They are drought tolerant and heat loving, which is perfect for Los Angeles, you know. And these are pretty. I love like the orangey colors. Orange is one of my favorite colors and I think it's really cool to have orange flowers. Next is, okay, this is not a flower. This is called Aunt Molly's Ground Cherry. So <clears throat> I didn't know it was a cherry. It's a husk cherry. So if you look here, it has a papery skin and it's yellow on the inside. I was in China a few years ago um, visiting my dad who 
is there for business. And we came across this thing, fruit, selling at a market stand. And we got some. And then we basically just ordered it, like, in bulk afterwards. And we just kept ordering and ordering. I didn't, didn't know it was a, um, it's a tomato, not a cherry. It's, I didn't know it was a tomato. But it tasted like fruit. And you just, like, peel them back and then just eat the fruit part. And, like, your hands don't get sticky because, of course, like, tomatoes have a skin. And then there's, like, you can hold it by the papery skin. It was just sweet and delicious. And we call them, um golden ladies but you can also it's also called like lantern or something like that but it's really it's really that's what it was called in chinese but it's so it was so good and i've been trying to get these seeds and my gardener keeps on selling out it sold out while it was in my cart which is super annoying but it's okay i got this now and i really hope it grows i don't know if i'm in the right zone for it but I'm going to grow it in my arrow garden. Next is a petunia um, balcony mix. Petunias are pretty. They get a bad rap because of Harry's aunt's name. And this seed packet comes with 800, so I'm definitely sharing with friends. And then this is a, I think it's a phlox. I mean, that's how it's spelled. It's a Twinkles Dwarf mix. The picture on here is way prettier than the one on the internet, on the website. Why do I keep saying internet? The one on the website only has pinks and white. But this one has purple, which makes me really happy. Next is Snapdragon Apple Blossom. I could have not gotten this. I don't know why I did. I just think Snapdragons are pretty, and like this shade is very, very pretty. But I did actually, I think I picked up some Snapdragons when I was at Lowe's the other day. Next is this Yarrow. I thought Yarrow was a, like a plant, like a root. But I guess it's a flower. <laughs> it's very pretty. I, I, I go for pinks and purples. And this was another one. I had checked out. I ordered it from in my gardener. I had checked out. It was in my basket. It was on my receipt. And then they ran out before they packed mine. So they, I got refunded. But this is a Zinnia candy cane mix. I don't know if I'm in the right zone for this. But I was really upset that they canceled my... Um, one order and I was like I have to get it now because um and my gardener is known for having cheap seeds although in 2020 and I guess before they used to have 99 cent seed packets but then in 2021 they rebranded a lot of things and the seed packets are exactly the same but they're now all two dollars so I'm starting to lean more towards other brands and that was my 10 seeds from Baker Creek that I ordered in January 2021 and this is my seed my free they always give you a free packet and they might give you more than one free packet depending on how you um how much you order i don't know um this is weird it's kale russian red or ragged jack i'm guessing it has two names and here it is it's interesting looking it looks really fuzzy i don't know if i like it but you know i'm gonna try it oak leaf it looks gross Maybe that's just frost. I don't know. Purple, purple kale is interesting. So I'll show you my Baker Creeks. I have a few. This one is lettuce leaf basil that I already got last time. This is, oh, this was the free one I got last time. It was a mustard. And I've never heard of mustard as a leaf. I've always known it as like mustard seeds and then the, the sauce that you grind it into. And then here's another red frizzy basil. I like um I like these ones because they're purple, obviously. And then a lot of times if you it doesn't get enough light, it stays green. It has green dots on it, and it just means it didn't um it didn't change color. And then here is kale, and then here's sugar snap peas. I think out of four that I planted, one germinated, and they're actually just dried peas. Like I don't know why I didn't expect that. And then a really good brand, or a really popular brand to use is also called Johnny Selected Seeds. And I have, this is soybeans, which is um, like edamame and stuff. I have one that germinated out of three or four that I planted. I'm not really sure how to plant them. Here's spinach. Um, yeah, Johnny's uh, packages are really simple. I kind of like it. I kind of don't. Um, but they all look the same, which is the good thing. But they're all like individually printed. And Johnny's, this is spinach, which is really frustrating. I put it in my arrow garden and it did not germinate. It grew white fuzz. And then I put it in my mom's um, 
inside window plant planter box and it grew three plants but I have no idea what spinach plants are supposed to look like and it doesn't look correct. It looks really leggy and ugly and I just left it there. Here's uh, my sunset bumblebee. It's not really interesting to look at seed packets when there's no picture. There's a calibration mix. It has um, over a thousand seeds in here so I keep giving them to my friends. There's purple and green kale. I don't know what else to say but I really like using it because you get a lot of varieties. This is Swiss chard. I haven't opened it yet um, because I have Swiss chard from this company, which is a True Leaf Market, I think. Yeah, so True Leaf Market is frustrating because their packaging is super random. This is Swiss chard from True Leaf Market. This is chives from uh, True Leaf Market. Mine have not germinated no matter where I planted it. I think I planted them too deep. And then this is bunching onions which uh, I call it scallions, and it comes out like grass, and it, I don't know how to make it thicker. I think I'm doing something wrong. And then this is bok choy, and they call it pak choy, and they spelled it with an I at the end. And I don't know, I just wrote aka bok choy recently because I, I looked it up. I was like, it's the exact same thing. I don't know what they call it, bok choy. Maybe it's a different dialect. <clears throat> this is grown. It's nice, but the Arrow Garden one... The one that I came in the arrow, I had in the arrow garden, it grew like this big, the whole, the whole plant. And then these, I guess because I had fewer in each pot, each slot, or I had more in each slot, they they didn't, they grew like this big at most. And then very recently, I went to our dollar store and I picked up these four for one dollar. Here are bachelor buttons. They're super cute. Um, my friend also got them, but it's okay. I got blue and rainbow. And then sunflower, I don't know why I didn't expect this, but they're actual sunflower seeds, like the ones you can eat. Like, why didn't I think that it would be? There's only five seeds in here. So what I did was I opened all of these, because there's not that information on the back. I opened all of them, and I counted each bag. This one has 62, this one has, I didn't write it down, but I think it has 40 something. And this one is a zinnia, a color mix. Zinnias are, I've never heard, so I, I'm not a, I don't no flowers but I've discovered a lot of flower varieties um, since this year and then here is a brand called fairy morse it's from I got them from um, Lowe's when I went to pick up some soil the other day this is really really pretty it's a leafy plant but I believe they do have flowers and I don't I'm not gonna pronounce that word they're super pretty and like I said I really like the colored mixes because um, you don't know what you're gonna get, and if you get only two out of the possibilities, it's better than just buying one and getting one color. You know what I mean? And here's, uh, I, I don't know how to say this either. I also got the jeweled mix, uh, the colored mix. And then Snapdragon, also colored mix. And then Dahlia's, also colored mix. I don't know, yeah. I guess I was, um, what do you call, um, choice paralysis? Because I, I guess I couldn't just look at it I'm, I'm like shuffling my flowers around. I, I guess I couldn't just look at it and just be like, oh yeah, I'll pick the orange one. Instead, I was like, why not get the one with all the colors in it and then see what I get? Because if I get one, it'll be like I bought one color. But if I get more than one, lucky me, right? <clears throat> Although, with the Swiss chart that I have, that I opened, I've only gotten two colors. Let me find it. So it's not this one, it's the other brand, and I can't find it because it's all like in front of me now. It's supposed to come with red, yellow, pink, white, and I checked the website yesterday, I think it was also like a purpley color. But so far, no wait, it is this pack. I've only gotten pink and yellow. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know if I want orange or white. But it would be really interesting if I got more than just two colors. And I've used a lot of it. I've I've grown at least four or five. No wait, I've grown at least six plants and I've given some to my friend. And she also got pink and yellow. And then lastly, am my gardener? Last year when I was on a lot of uh, kale, not kale, I feel like I'm missing some seeds. I don't know where they are. And then I got peas because I really like peas, but they don't grow very well in arrow gardens because mine only goes up to one feet one foot uh these are the newer ones from recent months milkweed these come with very little leaves which is kind of disappointing but it's okay uh these are super pretty and lastly this one it's it's not a picture it's just uh painted 
but it's really pretty and a lot of times i've i've looked online a lot and when they say black they mean dark purple that's my seed uh haul and uh collection thanks for watching and sorry i talk so much i'm trying to find like the seeds that i here here's the first one thanks for watching that was pretty bye